Hey guys, Joe here, and today I want to talk about one of the biggest fascinations I've ever had in my life, and that is the concept of time travel. Ever since I was young, I've consumed any and all type of media that talked about the subject. Back to the Future, Doctor Who, hell, uh, Magic Treehouse, just to, just to name a few. And I would go so far as to say that I'm fairly knowledgeable about the subject, or at least as knowledgeable as someone can be about an unproved theory. But as interesting as the concept of time travel is, pretty much everyone agrees, whether that be casual fans of the idea, philosophers, scientists, that there are a lot of flaws with the idea of it. Most of these flaws come in the form of paradoxes. What is a paradox, you might be asking? Well, if you've ever seen Back to the Future, you've probably heard Doc Brown yell the word quite a lot. The encounter could create a time paradox, the results of which could cause a chain reaction that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe! Granted, that's a worst-case scenario. According to Wikipedia, a time paradox is an apparent contradiction or a logical contradiction that is associated with the idea of time and time travel. So basically, if you look at time travel very closely, you can start to see cracks in the logic of it all. There are several different kinds of paradoxes. Uh, for instance, the bootstrap paradox, there are causal loops, but I don't think any paradox quite exceeds the popularity and consequences of that of the grandfather paradox. Now to go about explaining the grandfather paradox, I've enlisted the help of my friend Kyle. Come say hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. So let's say in this situation, Kyle has a state-of-the-art time machine. Now, for some reason that defies explanation, one day Kyle decides to go back in time and kill his grandfather as a young man. He gets into position, lines up his shot, and fires. Now, Kyle was 10th prestige on Modern Warfare 2, so he's a pretty good shot, and he hits his target. Because of this, his grandfather dies. However, since his grandfather has passed away earlier than when he was supposed to, he was not able to conceive one of Kyle's parents. This then causes Kyle to have never been born at all. Therein lies the problem. If Kyle was never born at all, then he couldn't have gone back in time to kill his grandfather in the first place. Logically speaking, that doesn't make any sense, and thus, paradox. Now, a very similar paradox that exists is called the Hitler Paradox. Let's say this time, instead of Kyle acting on some weird generational beef with his grandfather, he sits down and he decides, Hey, you know that Hitler guy? We should do something about him. So now he goes back in time to when Hitler was just a child and kills him before his rise to power. The way the world turned out would have been drastically different, whether that be for good or bad, but if Hitler never rose to power and his actions never came to be, how would Kyle from the future know to go back in time and kill Hitler in the first place? The grandfather paradox makes you physically unable to go back, whereas the Hitler paradox doesn't give you an established reason to have gone back in the first place. These are the two biggest holes in the logic of time travel. But. I had a thought the other day about how these could be avoided. I researched online and found other people had come to this conclusion as well, so it's not just uniquely my idea. Nonetheless, I thought it was an interesting concept, and so I made a video about it. Okay, so let's use a visual. Let's say this line is time. This right here is the present day. This is where you start. Let's say you go back in time, whenever, I really don't care, and you change something. This changes historical events and essentially creates another timeline. The general concept is then if you decide to go back and forth in time, you're really only hopping between this new timeline. Alright, so now I hope you've been paying attention because it's gonna get a little bit more complicated. To go further into my theory, we now need to explore what's known as the Many Worlds Interpretation, or more commonly known as the Multiverse. The Multiverse is the thought that for every possible reality that could ever exist, one does in an alternate universe. Now let's look back at the Grandfather Paradox for a second. Again, if Kyle were to go back and kill his grandfather, he would be erased from existence as he had no family lineage to come from. So, how could Kyle get away with this crime and not fade away into nothingness? Well, here's what I propose. Remember that other new timeline diagram from before? Well, instead of looking at the new timeline as, well, a new timeline, let's look at it as the birth of a brand new alternate universe. With this in mind, Kyle goes back, kills his grandfather, but instead of blinking out of existence, he just continues to exist in this universe he created. With his time machine, he is still able to go forward and backwards, just within the constraints of his new universe. Then the only problem in lies where, if you want to go back to the exact time you left with your grandfather alive, you just have to figure out how to jump universes. Which, honestly, in a hypothetical universe where we figured out the laws of time travel, that shouldn't be that hard. So basically this thought process leaves you with an alternative that leaves potentially dangerous paradoxes non-consequential. Now, I'm no physicist, and all of this is just a random thought in a 20-year-old YouTuber's brain, so... 
I don't have any evidence to substantiate my thought process, but hey, thinking about time travel is fun, so why not? Now, the multiverse is a whole other topic of its own, so I'm not gonna get into it because it's kind of complicated, but just think, there's a universe out there with every possible outcome. Hell, maybe there's a universe where this was Kyle's video instead of mine. Hey guys, Kyle here, and today we're gonna talk about one of my biggest fascinations, time travel. 